Hey, so today on Old Man New Tech, we're gonna see if we can combine three simple concepts. Simple, cheap, good. Hey, it's Brian with Old Man New Tech. It's a place where we take a look at budget electronics from a Generation Xers perspective. Why do I do it? Well, I do it to save you money, but I can't do this without you. So if you could, show me some love down below. Give me some thumbs up, maybe hit subscribe, and we'll blow this thing up together. Okay, so at Old Man New Tech, I've had a chance to review some budget headphones, and usually they're Bluetooth. They've got active noise canceling, range somewhere around $50 to $70, but I wanted to see how cheap I could go and get a decent set of headphones. Brilliant! Brilliant! Now, I'd heard about the tri Tribit or Tribit. I'm just going to go over with Tribit for this uh, go around. Now, I heard about the Tribit X Free Tune wireless headphones, and they've got a little buzz about them. They've got apparently a really decent build, good sound quality, and you can get them shipped to you for just under 35 bucks from Amazon. No way! So, went on to Amazon. I plopped down my 35 bucks and lo and behold they showed up uh, about a week later we're in a quarantine lockdown right now so things are taking a little bit longer but they showed up and here they are now these are what I call uber budget headphones I mean they're under 35 bucks my expectations are really low right now so I'm kind of expecting a piece of junk or I could get a treasure you never know but for 35 bucks, I don't mind taking a chance on it for you guys. And we're gonna take a look at them right now. Now, Tribit claims that they're not messing with active noise canceling on these, but we've got powerful 40 millimeter drivers to give you awesome sound. You'll also get a long 40 hours of playtime. Pretty cool. They're very comfortable design with protein ear pads and adjustable fit. And you'll also have hands-free calling and Bluetooth 4.1. Huh, not 5.0? but we'll check it out anyways. And finally, they claim that CNET named this headphone the best headphones for 2020. Hmm. Well, we'll see about that, but let's unbox this first. Okay, pretty straightforward. We got our uh, orange and white box. x free tune here on the front. Tribit. Tribit, sounds like a frog, doesn't it? We got our specs on the back, which, you know, really important. We got 40 hours of playtime, three hours to charge. Plus, again, they claim to be comfortable, long battery life foldable and superior sound like I said real simple let's see what we got on the inside alrighty I like what I'm seeing here note to all headphone companies cases are not that expensive please include one with your headphones Trivet does the right thing here and includes a case with their headphones I like it it's got a rubberized matte finish black won't show fingerprints. Nice zipper around the edge. Let's open this up and see what we got inside. Oh yeah, I like it. First we got a welcome aboard cards. I like you too, Tribbit. Our user manual. I'll crack this open if I need to, but these look really simple as I said before, and I should have no problem figuring this out for you. Inside we've got Oh, it's a micro USB charging cord. Not crazy about that. I hope they migrate to the USB-C, but it's so cheap, I don't mind using another micro USB charging cable. We got a 3.5 millimeter aux jack, in case we want to go wired, old school. Finally, we've got our headphones themselves. Always use safe packaging for your electronics. Again, we got a real simple design. Let's open these. Wow. Pretty tough headband. I can feel a little bit of heft in there with some metal. Yeah, I can feel some metal in there. Um, we've got a soft protein padding on the headband itself. Memory foam, I like that. Real slick design here. Very simple, but elegant. And a really cool Tribit logo with an X for the X-ray tune here and a nice little screening in there. I don't know if you can see that. Looks pretty cool. Underneath on the underside we have a 3.5 millimeter jack in case we want to go wired again and here we've got our charging port and it's micro USB and along the outer edge we have our power button 
a rocker for up and down volume. Check that out. As far as controls go, we don't have ANC, so I don't have a separate ANC switch, but very simple. And we've got that protein ear padding. Again, not edible. And I, this I like. Inside, I got clearly labeled for my old man eyes, R for right, L for left. And look how flexible that headband is. Again, a real simple design. It's adjustable, it ratchets down. Really solid, I like it. There's a metal strip in there, so I know this is gonna hold up well. Man, you are really getting a lot for your money with this, I can tell so far. But let's see how they sound. That's it, very simple. And again, simple is good. That's, what, that's our theme for this episode. And that is everything you get. Okay, so we got them unboxed. And again, I like the feel of these. They, they're plastic, of course, for the most part, except for the metallic band we have here. But on the inside, I like the fact that I've got a right cup, left cup clearly labeled. They miss that in a lot of these products. Let's put them on, with my glasses on even. And I've got a pretty snug fit. The protein padding is pretty plush. I've got plenty of room for my ears. I consider myself to have medium-sized ears. I'm no Dumbo, but if you do have larger ears, I don't think this is going to be an issue. you got a lot of room, and I get decent noise cancellation. Now, that's called passive noise cancellation. So, it's sealing a lot of the noise that I'm getting from the exterior. They don't shake off too easy. I'm doing the old man head shake. So yeah, I think I can wear these comfortably for at least three to four hours. But now let's pair them up. I just hit this power button right here. I'm going to put this up to my microphone so you guys can get a decent hear what it sounds like when I power it on. Power on. A nice little voice tells you that it's powering on. It's looking for a device right now. I'm going to show it my iPhone. And you'll see it right there. The Tribit X Free Tune. And repair it, easy peasy. Okay, now the simplicity, it has simplicity. Price is right. I mean, we're cheap. We're at thir under 35 bucks for headphones. But all that doesn't matter unless they sound good. So let's see how they sound. We'll put some of that old man music on. Maybe some techno, house stuff. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> okay, these are loud. Let's see how the controls work. Up, down, real easy, right here. I'm listening to Don't Stop Me Now by Queen. Oh. Sound separation is awesome. Clears the bell. Solid on the mid-range. I gotta try some bass now. Let's try some bass. Whoa. Let me give you guys a little listen to it. Whoa. Okay, so I got a heavy bass track running. I got zero distortion. So, my impressions for the sound are that the sound's just blowing me away. I mean, it's got the same sound that you have on par with a, a good $100 set of headphones. So I've gotta say, they are the best sounding headphones that I've reviewed at this price range. They sound really good. So as far as performance and latency goes with Bluetooth 4.1, I had my doubts of whether or not that it would work well. So I'm getting zero lag when it comes to YouTube on my iPhone. And also I've synced this up with my Fire Stick. I've been able to watch movies with it. There is no noticeable lag, so I don't know how they're accomplishing it. There's no Aptex chip in it, but it's got zero latency when I use it with different devices. Pretty cool. As far as the microphone quality goes in this, I've been able to make phone calls to my friends, to my family, and they say I sound great. So I'm gonna give you a, a sample of the audio quality of the microphone. And we're just recording the microphone quality on the X-Free Tune by Tribit. 
Let me know how it sounds in the comments below. All right, well, we're back. So you let me know how it sounds down below in the comments section. I'd appreciate it. As far as battery life goes, I've used this all week, at least a couple hours a day. I have yet to charge it. I'm pretty happy so far with the battery life. They claim 40 hours. I'm assuming I'm, I'm gonna get probably 20 to 30 hours with the volume that I go at. I go pretty loud on these headphones. So the battery quality is there. Out of the box, it came about 75% charged. It took me maybe an hour to get it fully charged. It will charge in about three hours. And now, the final thoughts. So my final impressions on the Tribit X-Free Tune headphones are that it's got the right price. I mean, they're simple. I mean, they're headphones. They give you good sound. They're good quality. There's not a lot of controls to them. There's not a lot of bells and whistles, so they're simple. The other thing we wanted to look at was, are they cheap? 35 bucks, you got great sound. You got something that works with all your devices. It's easy to use, it sounds good, and it's cheap. And finally, are they good? Well, hell yeah, they're good. Since I've unboxed them, I've been listening to them for about a week. They've got zero faults as far as the sound goes. They sound great, they're nice quality. They're not too heavy, they're not gonna weigh heavy on your head. And I got no choice but to give this a big, big double thumbs up. Hey, hey. Hey, this is Brian with Old Man New Tech. We can't make this channel happen without you, so please hit subscribe and smash that bell down below. And if you're looking for product links, you'll find them there too. Thank you.